pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Every single person who has ever done anything worthwhile or exceptional or difficult or extraordinary, anyone, whether it's great artists or authors or mathematicians or whatever the f it is, everyone encounters difficulties. There is no easy road. It does not exist. It is impossible. Everyone has issues. If you have time to pursue a hobby, if you have time to do anything in your life, you can better yourself. And here's one way you never better yourself. When you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not. Everybody has a hard road. I wanted to jump out a window several times during my young life. I wanted to jump in front of a train and just end it because it's too much pressure. We all go through hard times. We all go through depression. We all do go through doubt and, and, and moments in your life, that is what makes you a person. And those difficult moments are what build your character. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. When I lost my father, I didn't come out like I was before. I was changed. If you go through a divorce, a legal battle, a friend betrays you, eventually that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. Now how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out with a chip on your shoulder blaming God, or you can come out stronger with a greater confidence in God. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you to increase you, to develop you. A life without pain is a life without challenge. And a life without challenge is a life without growth. So not only do I embrace the challenge, embrace the pain associated with challenge and growth, but I even look forward to it in many regards. Some people think I'm strange, but sometimes I even ask for it. Send me a challenge, God, that you think should rid the world of pain, I invoke, please, give me some challenges here because I need to be tested, I need to be stronger, I need to grow in my resolve with whatever weakness is in my character. Pain is a beautiful thing, challenge is what life is about. A life without challenge, a life without pain is a life without growth. And where there is no growth, there is stale, stagnant energy. And that's where most people live. Because most people's lives are designed around treading a path that is void of challenge. The minute they recognize challenge or pain, they move the other way. This is a primal instinct and normal and natural, but a weak perspective. They're not challenged, they're not growing, they're bored and they're better off dead. Your likeness is found in your pain. Embrace it, love it, and grow from it.